right. I'm laying in London's bed. She let me lay by her. Mm. I have to be really careful though, because I'm really fat. So I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to hurt her. Am I really fat? Uh, really? Well, thank you. Uh, That's really nice of you. Well, they had to kind of repack it all because it just wasn't. It started. Are you recording me? Huh. They started. It started bleeding again, and it's not sealed shut. It's got like four staples in her stomach, so her stomach. But there's big pockets that it, it's not sealed shut. Like they want to leave her stomach open, and so they just have packing in there, like gauze type stuff to stop the bleeding. Well, it wasn't. The flow wouldn't stop on her stomach. Like the bleeding wouldn't stop. So they had to come in and repack it again, and that hurts. Really painful. So now she can't walk again because she's in so much pain from her packing. So now we're just waiting, like mom said, go get you another x ray and see what's going on. And hopefully, they can figure it out so she can start eating, and her stomach is a little swollen again. So they want to kind of keep an eye on that. That's right. But the bleeding stopped, so that's good. Well, it matters, huh? That's right. Well, it's still day 14. I'm headed back up to the hospital and look at what we have here. I forget the name of the color, but that is one sexy beast. Oh man, look at that. It's the little things in life, you know? A little Land Rover Defender that's not built in England, but it's still a Land Rover Defender. Somebody's an idiot and didn't park all the way through. But you know what? I don't really care. They're not an idiot. They're here seeing their loved one that's probably sick or dying. So I'm going to go in. Lori's finally decided that she'll go home and sleep, which is good. So I'm back up here and I'm going to hang out with London as long as she'll let me. All right. I don't know how long mom's been home for, but she's been gone for a little bit now. And London and I are just Hanging out and got her little emesis bag next to her. She keeps getting sick, huh? She's having a rough go. Constant nausea. You okay? <coughs> it's okay. Take some slow breaths so you don't have to get that your stomach hurt, okay? We don't want your stomach to hurt. She's really struggling, huh? Constant nausea. She's got nothing else to throw up, but what she has thrown up has been similar to what she's been throwing up for the last three weeks until we brought her in for surgery. Lots of pain. She can't really stand on her own when she has to get up to use the loo, huh? Just so much pain where she was, like before, up and down the hall and running and getting on the bike and we could just get this bloody throw up to stop, huh? No more throwing up, huh? That's what we want. This is this is constant. Uh, sorry. We'll go down. No, you don't have to be sorry. You didn't do anything wrong. It is quarter after three, and Doctor Jordan just came in and talked to London and I. And her plumbing isn't quite working the way that we want it to. He's gonna have the NG tube put back in, which is kind of crappy, huh? Mm -hmm. But if the NG tube goes back in, that will let the intestines that are swollen and bloated and kind of struggling a little bit, that'll allow them some breathing room and it'll keep all the crap that's kind of blocked from coming back up. So she won't have to throw up anymore. And that'll let her belly not have to work so hard every time she throws up and gets so stressed out. Huh? Uh, You're angry? Are you mad at me? Uh, Excited for the NG tube? No, but is it going to be better than throwing up? Oh. All right, quick update. It is about quarter after seven. And it has been quite a day. I got up here about 11.30 today and sent Lori home to sleep and thankfully she fell on her way to sleep with both dogs yeah. laid on top of her, I guess. When she woke up, I don't know, she probably slept for at least a good few hours and then uh, ran some errands for herself to get some things that she needed 
and then started making her way back up. And at that same time, as you saw, I took her, wanted to get the, it's the live x-ray, which is pretty flipping awesome. While they put fluid into the drains in the peritoneal cavity and just just a little bit of, of, of the uh, contrast fluid. And uh, yeah, they all looked good, which is awesome. So they, one at a time, pulled all the drains out, which I got to watch on the x-ray screen, live x-ray. I even took some video. I don't think I was supposed to, but I did. Then big deep breath, okay? Oh my heavens, look at that. That was amazing. And then after that, they had to put the NG tube back in because she keeps throwing up, bless her heart. And that was not what I was planning on. It was the whole time, as soon as they got that thing in, I mean, throw up. It was just going everywhere. I mean, I, like some of it got in my eye and my beard. And at that point, I started laughing a little bit because what do you do when throw up's all over the place? So I just started laughing a little bit. And then it got even progressively worse. Throat just everywhere. Poor thing was covered. Oh my heavens. And then they got it cleaned up. And then they couldn't figure out the suction for the NG tube. And she threw up again and again. And at that point, I was like ready to just You're break. You're such a saint. Yeah, I try. I was ready to just break down in tears <laughs> because I just couldn't do anything to help her. And, you know, it's one thing if someone's thrown up, but. It's another thing. I mean, throw up, throwing up in and of itself is a tough thing because all those muscles that are at work trying to get your stomach to get rid of everything so they can, you know, clean house. Well, then you add in the mix, a uh, massive incision on your abdominal wall, straight down the middle, cut through all your, all your muscles. So you throw that into the mix. Oh, man, you're just a recipe for absolute agony they finally got it all cleaned up the nurses were absolute saints and angels from god just so i've never seen somebody never with, despite all the throw up i mean so much love was in that room and it was just absolutely humbling to experience the amount of love i mean you know it's one thing to see like a mother's love but then to see when it's not even your child and to see that same Christ-like love extended, it was just absolutely, absolutely, just humbling. I gave the the main PA a giant hug. I just, I just told her thank you for all of her love because she made London feel so at peace. Anyhow, and then Lori got back. She, Lori was already up here. So we got back to the room, and then I think she's kind of maybe a little bit of throw up since and. But not, but not a ton. She's kind of calmed down a little bit now, but still, no liquid diet, no water, ice chips for for, for who knows how long. Could be weeks. Again. Could be weeks, yeah, because her her intestines are still really swollen. That's why she's been throwing up so much because they're still they're not letting everything through. It's gonna be some time, but that's okay. We'll just take it nice and slow. Let the body do the healing that it needs. Not that we were rushing it, but we were excited because. See where there's the potential for her to be home this week. We'll just keep living up here at the hospital on and off. Thanks for your prayers. Anything you want to say? Mm, no. My no, I do appreciate everyone's love and prayers too. This has been quite the challenge. Come on, you can take the makeup off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you all. I love you all. London, do you want to say anything? No, she's so it's been a long day.